Anchor.com. Good grief, good dra- gravy. Hi, uh, we're live, friends. Pastor Rick Riley here, live, worldwide, live ministry podcast. Blasting the devil once again, because he does not want to get this message out. Or he doesn't want the message out. But I got news for him. I got some scriptures. I got the word of God for him, friends. He is a fool. Ain't no way is he going to get me off my post, friends, because, you know, the devil's on his every single day. It doesn't matter. Night and day, 24-7, that devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy, friends. And uh, he's got to get up a lot earlier and uh, have a lot stronger coffee, my friends. Well, we're live, worldwide live ministry podcast uh on the air got about an hour or so and then we're going to be live at blog talk radio again uh probably the uh twitter page and uh periscope live maybe you stream but we're live on the air right now my friends how you doing wednesday uh midweek live cast bible study my friends for our youtube friends and family over at life grace ministries uh well, the Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast, Life Grace Ministry Podcast, uh, over at YouTube.com, friends. Continue our Bible study out of the King James Version, uh, chapter 20 in the book of Luke, my friends. And we are blasting the devil, my friends, because uh, it's time. I'm tired of him. He's been messing with me for about an hour Trying to get, uh, trying to stop this podcast, and it ain't gonna happen. I don't know what he's thinking about, my friends, but uh, you know he can go right back to hell where he came from because I'm done with him. Uh, no matter what he tries to do, he just shut my Wi-Fi. All the Wi-Fi went off. All the power basically had shut down. And uh, but uh, you know he's he's lost and he's got nowhere to go. So he's just messing with people. Well, I, I, you know, like I said, friends, I, I'm tired. I'm, I've been <laughs> fighting with this all day, uh, about an hour or so, 45 minutes or so, trying to get all this stuff back on. Uh, but we're here. We're live. Spreaker.com, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Periscope. Well, not Periscope, but uh, YouTube, I believe. Facebook, iHeartRadio. And uh, I know there's Tumblr in there. There's SoundCloud that's in there. So we're going to get right straight into the message before uh, before I do the shout-out list. And then we'll be back on. I'll be back on about an hour, uh, about an hour or so, my friends. Uh, basically, we'll be hitting... Uh, We'll be going straight on over, my friends, uh, straight on over. We're going to go hit Blog Talk Radio tonight for a double shot, uh, I believe 5.30 and 9.30. Because, uh, uh, you know, hey, the, it took a couple of days off to try to get my the rest of my podcast notes done. I finally got them, all 10, uh, all 10 parts, and... Uh, Man, is that, uh, that was a lot, friends, talking about uh, parables. I'm doing all the parables, uh, the next upcoming podcast. So let's get into the podcast, my friends. Just double checking our our blog talk radio channel, make sure it was ready to go. Amen. And so uh, I had to uh, just double check, but we're live on the air right now. We are live at Spreaker.com. We're going to get into the message here, friends. Amen. So, just trying to figure out some time here uh, on a, uh, today's podcast. So, uh, I believe I'm going to move that up to about five, uh, well, about six tonight, friends. Uh, just so I can get some uh, time in between stuff. Prime time hours, my friends, 6 o'clock, Blog Talk Radio. Let's get into it before we get into it, my friends. Let's do our, you know, we do our, uh, our checklist, Bibles, coffee, pens, papers, notebook, tablets, uh, big book of love, of course, 
Uh, so, uh, friends, glad you guys are here. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast. Pastor Crowley here live on the air. We got uh, Anchor and Cast Box in the house. And we're going to get into our Bible study message because we're live right here at SpreakerStudio.com, friends. Amen. Glad to be on here. Glad to see it's Wednesday, friends. All day it's Wednesday, and that devil's on his post, friends. So let's get into it. Uh, bow your heads and close your eyes. Let's give thanks to our Lord and our Heavenly Father. Amen. I, dear God, I just uh, thank you so much for everything you provided and everything you've uh, you've shown, everything you've you know, everything you provided, God. We, you know, we, you are our healer, our provider, our everything. And uh, you are our antidote. And uh, we got to lean on you no matter what. Trust in you no matter what. Um, give it all to you. Uh, every day, every minute. Because uh, the breath we take is from you. And the gifts we have are from you. So I give this to you right now. And I also want to lift up my friends, my family, everybody going through uh, struggles and strife. As we are in a dark world right now god you know we it, it's so dark out there and there's so much going on that uh we need you we know that you are the light so i want to lift all my friends and encourage them and build them up and and uh just lift them up god you know you, we know that you can and we know that we got to lean and trust on you so uh, i want to encourage them to as i as i speak your words as i give your words out and continue this podcast mission that you put me on lift them up encourage them and encourage them, and uh, you know, because we know you are so good, God, and all the time. And when we let the uh, get into our flesh, and we know that the enemy's attacking and and uh, trying to throw us off our groove, God. But uh, it's not going to happen. We know we got to lean on you more and lean not on our own. So I give this to you right now as I get excited about the word, Heavenly Father. I'm just so grateful and. Glad that, uh, you know, everything's uh, through you. And, uh, you know, I pray over the Wi-Fi. I pray over the channels. And uh, pray everything that keeps connected and keeps going. So, God, I just give this to you right now in your Heavenly Father. and your Son's name. Because you are the Heavenly Father, God. I get tongue twisted, God. Because, you know, I get so excited about this word, preaching it, and being on this, this mission. So, I just give this to you right now in your Son's precious name. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. All right, my brothers and sisters, we're having a little bit of church service tonight. It's Wednesday, midweek Bible study course going into the book of uh, going into the book of Luke, friends. We're we're about uh, what twenty twenty one uh, today, and then uh, tomorrow we'll get back on there and and do some more. Amen. So I'm going to give you, uh, well, we're going to do Romans chapter 5, the results of justification. I wanted to touch basis on that, kind of go back over that again. But, you know, we, we have some business to take care of, friends. We, we do. And uh, so let me, let me make sure all my wires and cables are connected. All right, give me just a brief second there, friends. I had to make sure the rest of the cables are connected. So we're we're heading over to Block Talk Radio, 630. Uh, I wanted to move that up just a little bit, so I got some time in between stuff. Got a lot going on, my friends, and uh, wanted to make sure. Wanted to make sure I got enough time in between stuff. I don't want to rush myself. I got a lot to give you, friends, a lot to share with you. Amen. Well, let's get into it. We're live, my friends, on the air. Uh, some uh, friends of mine, I, I want to just give some uh, shout-outs to some friends of mine here. Uh, you know, you made the list, and uh, that is so cool. And we get into the armor of God, friends. I, what do we got? Facebook, my fresh Facebook friends. Uh, Brother Mark over at Christian Watchers of the 2017-2024 Solar Eclipse Group, friends. Go say howdy to Brother Mark. I'm telling you, friends, uh, what's a good page uh, to go check out? Lots of spiritual uh, support there, so go check it out. Miss Christina, you made the list, of course. Uh, and... Uh, 
Let's see. Lots of headlines going on, but we're going to stay focused. I got to get this out to you, friends. Amen. Uh, so, Miss Christina, you made the list. Appreciate you. Oh, my Facebook friends. Amen. That's so good. And uh, then we got uh, Miss Sophie, my CBN friend and family. So good to see you. So good to be out there on there for you. And uh, what else? And then we got uh, Miss Laura, my friend Laura. Uh, always grateful to have you on there. Miss Tiffany Blackwell Ministries at Facebook.com. What a powerhouse uh, for God is she. Friends, go check her out. Uh, it's amazing. And uh, of course, uh, we got Miss Susan on our Facebook page. Uh, such an awesome uh, support. And it's so cool. So appreciate you so much. Amen. But we're live, my friends. How are you guys doing? Amen. Uh, and then, well, what did I say? Did I say, did Miss Susan get her shout outs for the day? I hope so. But there you go, Miss Susan on uh, Facebook. Amen. And then my a couple of friends of mine also, um, don't forget uh, Miss Jackie over at Periscope and Twitter. Live, midnight scope, every night, Monday through Sunday, uh, live. Man, oh man, friends, talk about a powerhouse. Talk about a woman on, on fire for the Lord, for sure. She is awesome, friends. I'd go check it out if you get a chance. Go check out her midnight prayer scope, friends. If you need a prayer, if you need a friend, go check her out. She's awesome. And then, of course, my fellow iHeartRadio uh, podcast pastor friend, uh, Brother Michael Holcomb at Bible Days Ministry, as he always says, coming to you from assignment, friends, from the Lord. Amen. That's right. That's what we are. We are on assignment, friends, all the time. And uh, also, if you want to hear some power, uh, power uh, testimony and some power scriptures and stuff, friends, uh, or some, you know, just some headline news, end times prophecy, Anita Fuentes on uh, YouTube, friends, go check her out, man, she's so good. Got a lot to say, a lot of biblical prophecies going on in this world right now, and uh, appreciate you guys so much, man, 500, over 500 plays here at Spreaker dot com friends that is amazing you guys are so awesome all right so let's get this shared out right now we're on uh, our facebook page amen and uh so I'm, as i'm just i'm gonna do a couple of quick things here friends amen all right so uh let's see let me just Backtrack here just a little bit, friends. So, all right. So let me uh, let me get this here, friends, my friends, my friends. Amen. Uh, don't forget, we're live. Uh, amen. All over the world, you guys can hear this podcast. Amen. Uh, all right, there we go. So I wanted to make sure you guys are getting this message. I got lots to give you the Bible study. We're hitting that up right now, getting uh, Twitter and uh, the Facebook pages. Always got to make sure you guys get that stuff there. Amen. So just a second here, friends. You know, I got to do, uh, I got to get this out here. So we are. We're hitting this hard, friends. We are hitting the devil back hard because he's been a pain in the neck all day. So, amen. So, all right. All right, my friends. Hang on here. Okay, let's get this out here. Amen. Glad to be here, friends. Well, let's get this message out. We got about an hour over at Anchor right now, and uh, you know, but we're uh, we're going to take a couple of, uh, about a break or so here. 
uh, in between podcasts, about 6.30 will be hitting. Uh, we will be hitting a couple of channels here. So, amen. All right. So, let me get this other one out here. You know, it always happens. So, I got to get this message out here and make sure we are. Oops. All right. Give me a second here, friends. I wanted to make sure we get everything out here, uh, share this message. Amen. That's for sure. All right. Well, how's it going? It's Wednesday, midweek podcast message, friends. Just getting warmed up because we're getting ready to go on the air of Block Talk Radio here about 6.30 and again at 9.30 tonight. And uh, uh, Pacific Mountain Time, my friends. So. All right, let me get this. Oops, let me get this out here. So we're live. Our updates are done. That's good. Uh, amen. I want to make sure you guys know where we're at. Hey, amen. Let's get into it, friends. I got lots to give you. Armor of God, right now, friends. It's time to armor up, right? Before I get into the podcast here. Uh, finally, my brethren and my sisters, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's scheme. Or schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world. And against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, we must put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with a belt of truth buckled around your waist, with a breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. And in addition to all this, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one, or the fiery darts. Uh, Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, or the Bible, of course. And pray in the Spirit on all occasions, with all kinds of prayers and requests. And with this in mind, be alert, be sober. And always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Now pray also for me that whenever I speak, words may be given to me so that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains and pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. That's out of the NIV, friends. Amen. All right. Man, we got so much to cover. Friends, we're live. World Wildlife Mystery Podcast, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, uh, Google, of course. And then we're live right now on the air at uh, Anchor and CastBox, friends. Pretty amazing. It's pretty cool. Uh, amen. Well, I got the coffee. Let me throw some scriptures out. Another scripture at you. Coming from uh, Jeremiah twenty nine eleven, my friends. I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you, and plans to give you a hope and a future. Now, we can be tired, weary, and emotionally distraught. But, after spending time alone with God, we find that He injects into our bodies energy, power, and strength. Man, oh man, friends, are you fired up? You better be. Y'all better get fired up, friends. Amen. The name of the Lord is a strong fortress. The godly run uh, to him and are safe in Proverbs 18.10. Grace and peace be yours in abundance, says 2 Peter 1 and 2. Uh, Blessed are those whose hope is in the Lord their God. Uh, Psalms 146 and five, uh, when odds are one in a million, be that one. Amen. 
All right, coming from Hebrews 6.19, friends. Hebrews 6.19. We have this hope as an anchor for for the soul, firm and secure. Amen. Uh, God will not permit any troubles to come upon us unless he has a specific plan by which great blessing can come out of the difficulty. Amen. And Job eleven eighteen, friends, giving them to you fast here because uh, I want to get into this Bible study message. But hey, it's good, friends. We need these messages. So Job eleven eighteen, you will be secure because there is hope. You will look about you and take your rest in safety. Reads Job eleven eighteen. Amen. Uh, now we must. Accept finite disappointment, but never lose infinite hope, says Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., friends. What a great man that he is. So there you go. That's just a few uh, messages. I got one from Psalms I want to give you. Psalms 5, 1, 3, 11, 12. My brothers and sisters having some church service tonight. We are, friends. Listen, Lord, as I pray. Uh, hang on here, friends. All right, so let me, just a second here, friends. Let me let me pull this up here again. Amen. Let me see if we're it's live, my friends. Amen. So hang on here. Just a second here, friends. There we go. Let me pull this up here. All right. So, I wanted to make sure that uh, we had our playback going. Uh, Amen. So, give me a second here, my friends. I did not know that it was that loud. Jeez Louise. All right, what's going on with this thing here? All right, so there we go. I guess our volume was really cranked out loud, and I did not know that. So, all right, so there's the playback. Good. We're in business, friends. So, let's get this message here. Psalm 5, 1, 3, 11, 12 reads, The Lord helps you. Listen, Lord, as I pray, pay attention when I groan. You are my king and my God. Answer my cry for help. Because I pray to you each morning, you listen to my uh, to my prayer, as I bring my request to you and wait for your reply. Let all who run to you for protection always sing joyful songs. Provide shelter for those who truly love you, and let them rejoice. Our Lord, you bless those who live right, and you shield them with your kindness. Now, that's. Hey, that's some good stuff, right, friends? It always is. Uh, All right, now let me give you this. Uh, I got something else for you here, friends. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Before, we're going to just jump right straight into our Bible study. Luke, the book of Luke, my friends. But I wanted to give you a couple others here real quick. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, friends. Uh, Apply it. Believe it and receive it, my friends. Uh, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Uh, Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. And be anxious for nothing. And then we got, well, we got this one here. You know we always got to do this. Ephesians 2, 8, 9. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and it is not your own doing. It is a free gift, grace of God, and not a result of works, so that no one can boast, my friends. Hey, man, what's going on? It's Wednesday already, friends. Can you believe that? It's Wednesday just like it was Monday, and uh, I did uh, a whole podcast on Monday, and uh, 
I flatten the devil. I give him a bruising for his cruising friends, and I'm got so much more to give you. Now I'm just going to do a couple of real quick uh, recaps on our study that we just did uh, not too long ago. Uh, Almighty God is the sole creator and the sustainer of the universe and all living things. Every breath we take is a gift from him, friends. Now, God, he desires that we partake of his abundant life, which is full of contentment, rest, happiness, freedom, peace, love, and joy. The fruits of the Spirit. Uh, Does that accurately describe your life, my friends? Or is your life characterized by anxiety, guilt, or fear, rather than by or a sense of failure and emptiness? Instead of happiness, if so, there is awesome, great news for you, my friends. Uh, Why is our experience so different from God's desires for us? Now, God did not cause this separation. We did. How, you ask? In the same way that we inherit physical traits, uh, eye and uh, hair color, all of us inherited a sin nature from our first parent, Adam. Uh, He was the uh, person who first chose to live his life independent and apart from God's life. We all, all have or inherited this independent trait. And all start out in life vainly trying to live our lives without God, my friends. Ain't going to happen without success. Mercy. All right. So that's a, there's a recap, friends. It's the bridge, which he calls grace, friends. And I'll get back into that a little bit later. But I wanted to make sure you got some messages, friends. Hey, Amen. Got lots to give you, actually. Oh, mercy. Uh, That sneaky devil. I'm trying to get in there and... Trying to get in there and uh, mess you up, you know. Trying to mess me up and trying to throw me off my my track here. Amen. All right, well, let's get into a couple of scriptures here. Uh, I want to get into this here, friends. Also, just real quick, I want to throw this scripture. I've been doing this. I really haven't been sharing this too much. Uh, Philippians 4, 2, and 7, some words of encouragement. Uh, now, I appeal to Iodia and Sinche. Please, because you belong to the Lord, settle your disagreement. And I ask you, my true partner, to help uh, help their two women, or help the two women. I think that's what that is. I think I I got that. Uh, As I did my notes, I think I I might have overdid that. Uh, So, uh, I think that's help these two women. I know that scripture, because I've been doing that quite a bit. Even though I haven't been reading it too much, I have been doing that. And so I believe uh, that's what that is. Amen. All right, so that's what that is. So help these two women, he says, for they worked hard with me in telling others the good news gospel. They worked along with Clement and the rest of of my co-workers whose names are written... In the Lamb's book of life. Amen. Always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again. Rejoice. Let everyone see that you are considerate in all you do. Remember, the Lord is coming soon. Uh, Amen. Now this is out of the uh, NLT here. Uh, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything and tell God what you need and thank Him for what He has done. When you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything, we can understand His peace that will guard your hearts and your minds as you live in Christ, friends. Amen. Well, there you go, friends. 
All right, given just a, a little bit of message here, I wanted to just kind of do that a little bit. Uh, where are we at? What are we doing? Do we know what we're doing? We do know what we're doing, my friends. Chapter 5, Romans, real quick. The results of justification. Friends, I wanted to give you this because this is really good here. We need this. Therefore, being justified by faith out of the King James Version, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace, wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Amen. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. I have been struggling with that myself, friends, and, uh, you know, but uh, I got a grip on this grace, so uh, that's why I'm going into this scripture, sharing it with you guys. Uh, verse 4, in patience, experience, and experience hope. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength, in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet uh, peradventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. But... God commendeth his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved, amen, from wrath through him. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved. Watch this, friends. Catch this good piece of news here, good piece of information. I don't know. It's just it, it, by his life. Amen. Uh, and not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. Amen for that. Amen. What a good! I love the scripture. I've been I've been sharing it uh, quite a bit. Uh, the Spirit's been giving this to me, uh, and uh, it says, uh, "Repeat, repeat, repeat." Uh, get this message out because uh, we need to hear this. the The saints of the church needs to hear this message, and uh, well, that's what we're doing, friends. We're having a little bit of Bible study, some church on a Wednesday night. Uh, trying to get on here a little bit earlier than normal because uh, usually I'm, you know, 9.30, 10.30, something like that. Uh, I'm usually pretty late night, but, uh, I, I, hey, we're getting ready. I'm going to blast the devil all night, uh, 6.30 or so here, friends. I'm getting ready to go on blog talk radio, so check that out, if you will. But we're live right now, Spreaker.com. Uh, you can catch, like I said, you can catch these podcasts live right now as we speak. Uh, I think it's on, uh, or the link is going to be on Facebook and YouTube, uh, Twitter, and iHeartRadio, plus a whole bunch more, friends. Uh, but we're live right now at uh, Spreaker. Uh, we're live right now at uh, Anchor.com and CastBox, friends. Hey, man. Uh, I'm going to share this. Let's keep going here. Chapter 5, uh, Romans. Sin through Adam and salvation through Christ, my friends. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world and death by sin, and so passed upon all men, uh, for that all have sinned and Fall on short of the glory or the glory of God. Amen. I think that's what it is. There's your homework, friends. Uh, for until the law, sin was in the world, but sin is not imputed when there is no law. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over them that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgression, who is the figure of him that was to come. But not as the offense, so also as the free gift. Again, talking about grace. For if 
through the offense of one many be dead, of one many be dead, there it is, uh, much more than the grace of God and the gift by grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ, hath abounded unto many, and not as it was by one that sinned, so is the gift. For the judgment was by one to condemnation, but the free gift is of many offenses unto justification. For if by one man's offense death reign by one, much more they which should receive abundance of grace of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one Jesus Christ. Therefore, as by the offense of one judgment came upon all men to condemnation, even so by the righteousness of one that free that or the free gift came upon all men into justification of life. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by the disobedience of one shall many be made righteous. Moreover, the law entered that uh, the offense might abound, but where sin abounded, grace did much more abound, that as sin hath reigned into death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, what is going on? My gosh, let's go back to the book of Luke, friends. A few more chapters left. Uh, chapter 20, my brothers and sisters, we're, we're going to hit it. We're going to get into this. Amen. Uh, so, all right, chapter 20, go to your Bibles, Bible study, friends, just a little bit here. Uh, we're going to cover 20 and uh, see what time frame we got for uh, chapter 21, but that's the plan, God's plan. Amen. All right. So hang on here, friends. We're getting ready to go. Amen. Uh, So hang on here. All right. Let me share that. Chapter 20, Book of Luke, Bible study time, my friends. I hope you got your Bibles with you. Go ahead and grab them. Feel free to Run back and get them if you want. And uh, grab them because we are going to need them, friends. Amen. Amen. All right. So let me uh, let me get uh, let me get this here, my friends. Amen. All right. Chapter 20. The question of Jesus' authority. And it came to pass that on one of those days as he taught the people in the temple and preached the gospel, the chief priests and the scribes came upon him with the elders and spoken to him, saying, Tell us, by what authority doest thou these things? Or who is he that gave thee this authority? And he answered and said unto them, I will also ask you one thing, and answer me. The baptism of John, was it from heaven or of men? And they reasoned with themselves, saying, If we shall say from heaven, he will say, Why then believeth ye him not? But, and if we say of men, all the people will stone us, for they be persuaded that John was a prophet. And they answered that they could not tell whence it was. And Jesus said unto them, Neither tell I you by what authority I do these things. Now remember, friends, King James Version here, straight out of the scripture. Uh, no time to no time to mess around here, friends. Amen. Hang on a second. Uh, let's see. All right, so let me get this adjusted here, my friends. Amen. All right. 
Okay, so. Moving our time on blog talk to 6.30 tonight, friends. I have got to get some rest in between this stuff. Amen. All right, so. Uh, he says in 8, And Jesus said unto him or them, Neither tell I you by what authority I do these things. The parable of the wicked husbandman. Then began he to speak to the people this parable. Uh, a certain man planted a vineyard and let, uh, hang on here friends, my microphone is adjusting here. Let it forth to husbandmen and went into a far country from a long time. And at that season he sent a servant to the husbandman. Uh, that they should give him of the fruit of the vineyard. But the husband man beat him and sent him away empty. Mercy. Really? They did that? Yeah, they did, friends. I'm not kidding. Amen. All right. Let's get into this, friends. Bible study time. We're getting into our message here. Um, so, uh, verse 10. And at that, let's see, back up here. Um, okay, verse 11. And again, he sent another servant, and they beat him also and entreated him shamefully and sent him away empty. And again, he sent a third, and they wounded him also and cast him out. Then said the Lord of the vineyard, What shall I do? I will send my beloved son. It may be they will reverence him when they see him. And when the husbandman saw him, they reasoned among themselves, saying, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, that the inheritance may be ours. So they cast him out of the vineyard and killed him. And when therefore, uh, what therefore shall the Lord of the vineyard do unto them? He shall come and destroy these husbandmen and shall give the vineyard to others. And when they heard it, they said, God forbid. And he beheld them and said, What is this then that is written, the stone which the builders rejected, the same has become the head of the corner. Whosoever shall fall upon that stone shall be broken. But on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. Now the question of the tribute money. Uh, and the chief priests and scribes that same hour sought to lay hands on him, and they feared that the people, for they perceived that they had uh, spoken this parable against them. And they watched him and sent forth spies, which should feign themselves just men, that they might take hold of his words so they might deliver him under the power and authority of the governor. And they asked him, saying, Master, we know that thou sayest and teachest rightly, that uh, neither uh, acceptest thou the person of any, but teachest the way of God truly. Is it lawful for us to give tribute unto Caesar or no? But he perceived their craftiness, and said unto them, Why tempt ye me? Show me a penny, whose image and sub, uh, superscription hath it. They answered and said, Caesar's. And he said unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which be Caesar's, and unto God the things which be God's. And they could not take hold of his words, because uh, words before the people and they marveled at his answer and held their peace. Now the question of the resurrection. Then came to him certain of the Sadducees, which deny that there is any resurrection, and they asked him, saying, Master, Moses wrote unto us, If any man's brother die having a wife, and he die without children, that his brother should take his wife and raise up the seed unto his brother. Uh, there were therefore seven brethren, 
and the first took a wife and died without children. The second took her to wife, and he died childless. Uh, and then uh, the third took her, and like men, the seven also. And they left no children and died. Last, the woman died also. Therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife of them is she? For seven uh, had her to wife. And Jesus answering said unto them, The children of this world marry and are given in marriage, but they which shall be accounted worthy to obtain that world and the resurrection from the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage, and neither can they die any more. For they are equal unto the angels and are the children of God, uh, being the children of the resurrection. Now that the dead are raised, even Moses showed at the bush when he calleth the Lord the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. For he is not a God of the dead, but of the living. For all live unto him. Now, the question of David's son. Then certain of the scribes answering said, Master, thou hast well said. And after they, that they durst not ask him any question at all. And he said unto them, How say they that Christ is David's son? And David himself saith in the book of Psalms, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand, till I make thine enemies thy footstool. David therefore calleth him Lord. How is he then his son? Then in the audience of all the people, he said unto his disciples, Beware of the scribes which desire to walk in long robes and love greetings in the markets and in the highest seats in the synagogues and the chief rooms at feasts, which devour widows' houses and for a show make long prayers. The same shall receive greater damnation. Good grief, my friends. Um, all right, so there you go, friends. I'm just, like I said, I just, the Spirit called on me to do these Bible studies, to just go into all the entire, like, do the entire uh, study here, uh, because uh, it's so important, you know, to hear that word. Amen. So, let's... Uh, Friends, let's do this. You know what? I want to do this anyway. I want to get, I want to get, uh, uh, not that I want to rush through the book of Luke because there's so many good stuff in there that we really need. Um, but uh, let me go into chapter 21, friends. Uh, let me, let me do that here. Let's uh, continue uh, with the widow's might in chapter 21. King James Version, our Wednesday night Bible study, friends. Uh, and he looked up and saw the rich men casting their gifts into the treasure, uh, our treasury, and he saw also uh, a certain poor widow casting in thither two mites. And he said, of a truth I say unto you, that this poor widow hath cast in more than they all. Uh, for all these have of their abundance cast in unto the offerings of God. Uh, but she of her penury hath cast in all the living that she had. It's tithing, friends. Talking about tithing right here. Uh, so this is a uh, God thing, friends. It's not a man thing. Right there, if you look in your Bibles, in Luke. Uh, now, signs of the end, uh, as we continue. And as some spake of the temple, how it was adorned with godly stones and gifts, he said, as for these things, which ye behold, the days will come uh, in the 
which uh, there shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And they asked him, saying, Master, but when shall these things be? And what sign will there be when these things shall come to pass? And he said, Take heed that you... uh, Well, my <laughs> that I, I have uh, wrote over my notes here, so I believe that is uh, that ye uh, be not deceived. I think that's what that is. So uh, that's what happens, friends. You, you know, I write so much notes, and I, I get all this written in here. So uh, be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. At the time draweth near, go ye not therefore after them. Uh, I talked about, uh, we're talking about uh, false, uh, false uh, shepherds, I guess. You know. Amen. Hang on, hang on here. All kinds of technicalities going on again. Uh, Take heed that ye be not deceived, for many shall come in my name saying, I am Christ, at the time draweth near. Go ye not therefore after them. But when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must first come to pass, but the end is not by and by. Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. Now this is a warning uh, friends, it's kind of, I mean, it's really coming to pass uh, as we speak. Uh, earthquakes all over the place, lots of stuff going on. Um, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilences and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. But, now see, this is confirmation of what's going on, friends, so we got to pay attention to what's going on. But before all these, they uh, shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake, and it shall turn to you for a testimony. Settle it, therefore, in your hearts, not to meditate before what ye shall answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. And ye shall be be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinsfolk and friends, and some of you uh, shall they cause to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but there shall not a hair of your head perish. And here's the kicker, friends. In your patience possesses ye your souls, and then ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies. Then know that the desolation therefore uh, or thereof is nigh. Then let them which are in uh, Judah or Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out, and let them or let not them that are in the countries enter therein. Uh, For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. But woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. For there shall be great distresses, or a distress in the land, and wrath upon this people. They shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive unto all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down to the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Amen. Now the coming of the Son of Man. And there shall be signs. And now check this out, friends. Uh, This part right here uh, is uh, really really uh, key right here. Amen. 
All right, so check this out, friends. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars that upon the earth distress of nations which are with perplexity the sea and the waves roaring. Is, is that not what's going on right now, friends? Do we not see that? Do we not hear that right now? Uh, that is what's uh, end time prophecy. That's what's going on right now. Uh, pretty amazing. So, hey, Anchor, we got about five minutes left, but we're going to continue this Bible study uh, right now at uh, Spreaker and CastBox. So, Anchor, friends, you guys can catch this whole uh, the continue it, uh, continue to the podcast. Uh, we'll get down to about uh, one minute here, and then I'll sign off at anchor. And uh, but we're going to continue, and then uh, about an hour or so, jump uh, back over. I may redo that to nine, uh, but uh, we'll be going back on here at uh, Block Talk Radio. Uh, and, uh, I think we'll be hitting YouTube or something again, doing a video on YouTube. So, uh, anchor.com friends, glad to be here. I'll see you tomorrow, uh, back on for, uh, another episode, another podcast. Uh, you guys are awesome. Anchor.com signing out. Uh, we're going to continue here at Spreaker and castbox.com. Uh, friends, I'll be seeing you soon. Uh, Stay tuned. You know, we'll have the the uh, full, complete podcast Bible study uh, right now as we are in uh, the book of Luke. Friends, I'll see you tomorrow. Anchor.com, off the air. And I'll see you soon, friends. Uh, have a good night, and I'll see you. Amen. Pastor Rick Rell here, World Wildlife Ministry Podcast, signing off on Anchor.com. All right, brothers and sisters, we ain't even done yet. Got a lot lots to give you. Amen. All right. There we go. Make sure it's loaded up. Amen. And saving it over here at our anchor.com cast, uh, podcast. You guys can check that out. Uh, pretty cool stuff, friends. Pretty cool. So anchor.com, check it out. It's a uh, World Wide Web. You can go check it out. Patrick Crowley here live. Anchor.com. So let me load this up, and then I'll have to uh, edit it, make sure it's edited. Uh, just load it up, information typed in and everything. So we're live, friends. Facebook, Twitter, Google Hangouts live. Uh, iHeartRadio is in the house, friends. All right, well, that's loading up. Let's continue our Bible study. I'm going to repeat this because this is we need to hear this, friends. We really need to get into this uh, while the warnings and stuff is already there. Uh, the coming of the Son of Man uh, talks about the distresses of uh, the planet, what we're going through. And then there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And upon the earth, distresses of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are the coming of the earth or on the earth. For the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things uh, begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Now the parable I jumps down here, friends. Talk about the solar eclipses and the blood moons and all that to the stresses of the planet and everything that jumps over to the parable of the fig tree. Go figure, friends. Uh, but this is why the book of Luke is so important. Uh, it talks about the the birth, death, resurrection, and the ascension of our Lord and Savior. Amen, friends. We need to hear this. We need to hear this word. Stay in the word. Uh, I know I'm taking my own advice. I'm getting through it, <laughs> friends. I, you know, I, I get shook up and I, I get like, oh, I don't want to do this. But I know, friends, that, uh, hey, we need a Savior 
Uh, and that devil is a pesky fool that ain't got no authority, right? So we got to be on this, friends, and, and that's why I'm pushing, uh, you know, been, God is my motivation, friends. Life is my motivation. Uh, and the ability to be able to podcast uh, is so awesome, and it's a great responsibility. Now, I heard the evangelist say that yesterday, uh, talking about what's going on. Um, you know, uh, those of us that have been called into this ministry and that have that calling on them, we are held at a higher accountability and that's a great responsibility. Uh, and I, you know, I, I you know, I, I, like I said, I, I'm taking my own advice, uh, and I, I got to get on these podcasts and keep going on this because I've got the ability, I've got the uh, equipment and everything's been set up. Uh, you know, I've been given this revelation, insight, knowledge, and uh, for me to be slacking and feeling sorry for myself, like, oh, nobody cares. I don't want to do. Well, too late. You made a promise, uh, and you gotta, you gotta keep your promise to God, friends. And this is why the motivation, and this is why I continue uh, to get through these podcasts and get through this. Uh, you know, yeah, I feel this fleshly depression and, oh, I don't want to do this and anxiety building up and like, oh, I can't, well, quit. Uh, you know too much and God gave me too much and I've been taught too much uh, to let this, uh, that little fool, uh, the devil, uh, trick me and go, ah, oh, yep, you're right. Don't give up. Time to quit. Time to pack it in and leave and move and go do your thing, well, no, because then the devil just won another one over. And and that just ain't going to happen. I got good news and I got bad news. The good news is he ain't going to win. The bad news, he's already lost. He's already a defeated foe, my friends. He has. He comes to uh, still kill and destroy. Uh and, uh, you know, God put me on this, uh, God put me on this friends and, uh, I'm going to keep going. I, uh, you know, we have to. So, like I said, uh, listening to the evangelist was, uh, really cool. And, uh, but yeah, we are held at a, at a higher accountability, uh, a lot of, a lot of responsibility. Um, uh, so how dare, how dare I? Uh, you know, uh, not want to do this after what Christ suffered for us, friends. When you look at the passion that He had for us, that's why I always reverse that around. Uh, Jesus had so much passion for us; we have to have passion for Him. Uh, and like I said, those of us that have been called, we have a great responsibility and a greater accountability. Uh, and so, uh, we, we got to keep moving, keep moving forward, friends. Uh, and I hear all these, uh, about all these pastors being depressed and they, well, we're just like flat. Well, yeah, we are, but you got to realize who's in you, who the greater one that's in us, uh, that's whose report we need to believe and re re uh, listen to. Uh, I, and I know I, I'm, I'm preaching to the choir here i'm taking my own advice because i get into it uh you know i get discouraged and uh and uh look at uh what's you know what's right immediately going on but uh you know i always pull back i always remember i was like hey no wait you you got this great responsibility you made a promise and you're going to keep it uh and so that's what i've been doing i've been getting on myself Friends, I put myself in a timeout and, and uh, not not try to listen to that uh, that devil because you know he is a liar, friends. And so, you know, I, I applaud the evangelist for for what she's doing, and you know, appreciate uh, her uh, uh, her messages because they are definitely uh, Holy Spirit led. And uh, as we continue to get this message out. All right. See, I do a little bit of rambling, do some Bible studies, do some scriptures, 
I mostly drink coffee, but that's okay because we're in the Word of God, friends. A worldwide live ministry podcast. Pastor Rick Rally here. Worldwide live ministry podcast is on the air, my friends. Wednesday night doing a quadruple shot because the devil's been messing with me and the equipment most of the day. And uh, so uh, I got news for him. <laughs> you get to stepping, son, because you ain't going to win here. This is not going to happen. We are about our father's business, right? Amen. All right, so make sure you get some coffee tonight, friends. I'm going to take a little break in between and uh, <laughs> and keep going because I got a lot of messages to go to, friends. Oh, my gosh. Well, let's finish this one. Uh, like I said, I, I wanted to really, uh, really go into this uh, because it's uh, it's important, friends. It is. Well, anytime you can read the Bible, friends, just spend time in the Bible. Half an hour. Read the book, my friends. Amen. Where were we at? What are we doing here? I don't know. Amen, friends. I got lots more to give you. So we're going to be going uh, the next podcast at uh, Blog Talk, friends. We are going to be going to the NLT uh, continuation of Are You Walking in the Spirit? How the Holy Spirit works in our lives and live in God's love. That agape love, friends. That's what we need to do. Amen. All right, let's get in, uh, continue the Bible study, the parable of fig leaf, fig tree, fig leaf. What the heck? Hey, uh, and he spoke to them in a parable. Uh, actually, that's what I'm going to be looking at, friends. Uh, in somewhere, I got to find it. But uh, I'm going to be actually looking at the parables. Uh, that's the, what I wanted to touch basis with or on. And uh, so. That's what I'm going to look at. I'm going to take a look at uh, the parables, friends. Amen. So I'll have to uh, do a little bit of digging in and go find that, because that was uh, really, really good. And then, actually, too, friends, I am going to touch bases on this. As we look at the book of James uh, on healing, friends, I told you, lots to cover, never run out of material. Let's get on with it. Let's read this. Uh, Talking about the fig tree here. And he spoke to them a parable. Behold, the fig tree and all the trees, when they now shoot forth, ye see, uh, and know of your own selves that summer is now nigh at hand. So likewise ye, when ye see these things come to pass. Now ye, the, uh, the kingdom of uh, God is nigh at hand. Very uh, Verily, I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall never or not pass away. Man, there we go. Now watch and pray as we close this chapter out. And take heed to yourselves. Amen. O oh, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surf, what? Surfeiting and drunkenness. S U R F E I T I N G. Anybody got a clue what that means or what that is? I'm going to have to look that up. Uh, more homework says the spirit. Uh, surf eating and drunkenness. And cares of this life. And so that they came upon you unawares. Remember, King James Version, friends. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell in the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore, and pray always. uh, That ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. And to stand before the Son of Man. And in the day uh, time, he was teaching in the temple, and at night he went out and abode in the mount that is called the Mount of Olives. 
And all the people came early in the morning to him in the temple for to hear him. All right, take a deep breath, friends. You got through it. Bible study time, friends. We're going to be jumping into chapter 22 next. The plot against Jesus, friends. So probably 22 and uh, 23 because, my friends, and well, 22 and 23 because 24 is really long. I believe there's 53 verses in the book of twenty, chapter 24, and then we've got about 56 in uh, chapter 23, and then also there is 71 verses, so we'll see how it goes, friends, all right? Uh, so I just wanted to get that Bible study out. For our brothers and sisters over at YouTube.com, you know, we got them all over, and uh, we've been doing this Bible study continuously, continuously, in the book of Luke. So, next, we're going to be jumping, of course, uh, into, uh, well, into into the chapter 22. Amen. All right, friends. How you doing? What's up? Well, I got a couple more I'm going to give you, and then uh, we'll be closing it out. So let me, before we even get into the book of John, friends, I want to read this to you. Uh, we're going to close this out, and then I'll be heading over to the, uh, take a rest here, get some coffee, get ready. And then we're going to be going over to, once all this is loaded in, then we're going to be going over to uh, Block Talk Radio here. A little bit later, maybe 7 o'clock tonight. Uh, amen. So, I, I just wanted to make sure, like I said, I just don't want to like rush through and, uh, you know what I mean, friends? Because uh, I don't want to get uh, too much here. Amen. So, hang on here. Oh my gosh. Well, we might do a late night, friends. I, I'm thinking uh, the way the Spirit's given me this time to rest in between stuff, friends, we might just jump on here at 7. Amen. So as we close this out, friends, I'm going to give you this. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him and apart from Him. Nor one thing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, yet the darkness does not grasp it, or did not grasp it. A man appeared, sent from God, whose name was John. He came to give testimony to testify about the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but he came to testify about the light that was the true light, which gives light to everyone who comes into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world did not know him. Uh, He came to his own, and his people did not accept him. But to as many as did accept him, he gave the night to be God's children to those who believed in his name, who were born not of blood, nor the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us. And we saw his glory, glory as uh, of the peoples, or for the fathers only begotten, full of grace and truth. Now, John testified concerning him and explained that was the one of whom I said, the one coming after me ranks ahead of me because he was before me. And from the fullness we have all received, yes, grace upon grace. For the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only begotten Son, who is nearest to the Father's heart. He was, or has, made Him known. Well, there you go. A little, uh, a little uh, sampler, friends, uh, for sure. 
All right. Well, I, I think we're going to do because I, I forgot to do this. Run. <laughs> hey, man, I get so excited about this word. All right. So. All right. So seven and ten tonight, friends. That's uh, that's what we're going to do on Blog Talk Radio. I'm going to readjust that a little bit here. So stay tuned, friends. Seven and uh, ten o'clock tonight on Blog Talk Radio. Double shots tonight against the devil. Amen. Sinners Prayer Salvation. Hit me up here, friends. Anytime. Worldwide Life Ministries Podcast. Life Grace Ministries 60 at gmail.com. My friends. <laughs> Amen. Uh, let us know, friends. Hit us up. What we gotta? Hey, we gotta get this message out. Here you go. Uh, sinners' prayer of salvation, friends. Can we do this right now, friends? And then we're gonna close out uh, for this part of the podcast. And uh, I'm gonna get some rest, get some coffee, get set up for the next show. Get my notes together here, friends. Uh, dear Jesus, I know I am a sinner, and I thank you for dying on the cross for me. I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that you are the Son of God. And I believe you are the Lord and that God raised you from the dead. Please forgive me. Please forgive me of my sins and wash my heart clean. Come and live in my heart. Be the Lord of my life and fill me with your Holy Spirit and teach me to walk with you and live for you the rest of my life. Thank you for saving me. And for giving me the gift of eternal life in heaven with you, brothers and sisters. Amen. And amen. All right. There you go, friends. You have been gracified by the Holy Spirit. We're ready, live, getting ready uh, for the next podcast. A few things to do. Take a break. Get some coffee. And uh, come back rested and ready to go at Blog Talk Radio, friends. Double shot tonight. We're going, uh, I believe, 7 uh, to about 8 o'clock. And then taking a rest in between. Loading back up at 10 Pacific Mountain Time, friends, if you will. Uh, that's it. CastBox, Spreaker, uh, Facebook, YouTube, uh, iHeartRadio, uh, and Twitter. Amen. All right, brothers and sisters, that's it. We're ready. Uh, well, we're ready. We're ready to take a break and get some dinner. Hey, I got lots more for you. Uh, I'm going into the book. We're going into the book, friends. We're going deep here. Healing, friends. We're going to talk about healing a little bit here. And uh, a couple other things. So that's it, friends. Appreciate you guys so much. Have a good night, good evening, good day, good afternoon. I'll see you later. Hey, we're uh, we're getting ready to jump over to Blog Talk Radio here at about uh, seven o'clock, friends, Pacific Mountain Time. Uh, an online community church worldwide, friends, all over the internet, all over the world. You guys can hear us uh, from Germany to France to Japan to. Uh, Australia, Austria. Uh, don't forget my good friends in Japan, my my uh, Periscope and Twitter family, and my CBN family. Uh, Pastor Oni, Kanichiwa, Domo Arigato, as well as my good friend uh, Midori. Appreciate you, darling. Thank you so much, Kanichiwa, Domo Arigato, and have a good night, friends. That's it. We're out of here. I'm almost out of coffee. I got to fuel up, friends. Amen. I gave you some fuel because, you know, uh, the Word of God is your fueling station, right? So you get fueled up and ready to go for that day, for your day, for your week. Anyway, friends, Spreaker.com, Anchor, CastBox. That's it. I'll see you soon. We are out of here, and I will see you. Well, I'll talk to you in just a few, friends. Now, we're not doing it yet, but just give you a heads up, my friends. Blog Talk Radio, the guest call-in number is 619-924-9866. We are hooked up with Skype, uh, the call-in, but don't do it because I'm not ready yet. I'm, I'm still praying on that. I don't quite know how to, I'm going to do that. But anyway, that's the number, friends. San Diego number 
619-924-9866. Guest call in line. Not ready yet. I'll see you on there, friends, when I get there. Amen. Get your Bibles, friends. Lots lots of doings tonight, friends. Amen. See you later, friends. Good night. Have a good day. Good night. Good evening. Good afternoon. I'll see you in a few. Block Talk Radio. Uh, 7 and 10 o'clock, friends. Amen. Amen.